Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the various categories of attacks in network security. So in, uh, in the network security, the attack means gaining the access of data by the unauthorized person. So in the, we have seen the two categories of attack, that is a passive attack and active attack. So when we call it as a passive attack and when we call it as an active attack. If there is a modification of a message by the unauthorized person, then we call it as active attack. And if there is no modification done on the message, but the content is gained by the th unauthorized person, that we call it as passive attack. So in that, we have seen two types of passive attacks, that is release of message content and traffic analysis. And also we have seen four types of active attacks, that is masquerade attack, replay attack, and then modification of message, and finally denial of service attacks. So in this session, let us have a look on security services. So what are the services provided by our network security? So here the question is, we are sending the message to the receiver so that how secure the data will be sent to the receiver. So here A and B, A is a sender and B is a receiver. So A have to send a message to receiver B. So we have to provide the security for this data over the network while transmitting from the sender to receiver. So here there are uh, different security services so among the first one is access control so here the access control the name itself indicates the access control means the access should be given to only the authorized persons so we have to prevent the unauthorized access of resources so that means prevent unauthorized access to resources and the second service provided by our network security is Authentication. Here the authentication means verifying the receiver or a sender. That means we have to verify the identity of a person who is sending the message or who is receiving the message. So we have to check their identity. So whether the message has been received by the correct person or whether the message has been sent by the correct person. So that means the user ver identity, verifying the user identity. Verification of user identity. And the third one, the third service is confidentiality this is also very important so here the confidentiality means providing security for the data which is transmitted from sender to receiver so sender will send the message to the receiver so that our duty is to provide the security for that data which is sent by the sender so that we call it as a confidentiality. That means security. Providing security 
to the data sent through a network. Next one, integrity, the data integrity. So uh, we can refer it as data authentication or simply authentication. Here, a data confidentiality and a data integrity. Anything is right, right? So the next one is integrity. So by providing the security for the data which is which has been sent from sender to receiver is not the a final thing so one more thing we have to take care is there should be no modification done during the transmission from the sender to receiver so that service we call it as integrity so we have to take care that so after sending the message from the sender the no authorized the unauthorized person should not modify the message during the transmission of the data from sender to the receiver so this is no modification should be done no modification should be done when during the transmission during the transmission so after sending the data and before receiving the data there should be no modification done on the data that service we call it as integrity so first one is access control so we have to prevent the unauthorized access of resources and then next one is authentication so before community communicating the receiver or a sender we have to verify the identity of sender and receiver so after verification of sender and receiver identity then the actual communication should be start then the next a confidentiality so after authentication is completed we have to send the data from sender to receiver so we have to provide the security for that particular data which has been sent from the sender to receiver next after sending the data from the sender and before receiving the data by the receiver we have to take care about no modification should be done on the data during the transmission that we call it as integrity and the last one is non-repudiation so here non-repudiation means preventing from the denial of service attacks so as we have discussed in the previous session the denial of service attack means without the intervention of user the server will terminate its services or the server will stop its services to all the users so in such type of attack in order to prevent such type of denial of service attacks we have to that that process we call it as non repudiation so prevention from Preventing from denial of service attacks. So these are the five services provided by our network security. That means we have to provide all these five services while sending the data from the sender to the receiver. So first one access control, authentication, confidentiality, integrity, and the non-repudiation. Now, so there is a slight variation between authorization and authentication. Now, let us see the difference between authorization and authentication. So now let us see the difference of authorization and authentication. So this is a familiar question will be asked by the uh, any of the staff members during the Viva or in, uh, the, in our projects, final year projects. So uh, first of all we have to know the difference between authorization and 
authentication so authorization means access permissions whether the user is having the access permissions or not that means what the user actually want to do user wants to do what what the user wants to do this is called authorization and now authentication so here the authentication means who is doing the actual work who is doing the actual work and what the user wants to do what the user wants to do is the authorization and who is doing is a authentication so we can say a simple example i had an atm card right i had an atm card of a bank some so abc the bank name is abc i'm having some atm card so as i am having this atm card i am an authorized person authorized person to get the services because i am having the atm of particular bank so i can use the service i can utilize the services provided provided by the particular bank and coming to this authentication whenever you will go and insert this atm in the atm machine it will prompt for a password or a pin so a pin is authentication so after you press your the pin corresponding pin so the machine will uh, check uh, it will compare the actual pin with your atm card if it matches then only you will be get access the services provided by the particular atm so here the pin is called authentication that means a pin verification so we can say it as pin verification is called authentication so atm card having an atm card is only an authorized one and if you had a correct pin of that particular atm card we can say it is authentication so this is a slight difference between authorization and authentication so here all authorization means just verifying the user permissions and authentication means verifying the user identity so that means our login details our gmail login password username and password or a youtube username and passwords so this is we call it as authentication so it will compare the or it will verify the user identity so hope you understood the difference between authorization and authentication now today's session we have learned various security services that is access control the prevention of unauthorized access of resources and then authentication verifying the user identity confidentiality providing the security to the data which is sent from the sender to receiver and integrity so after sending the data from the sender and before receiving the data by the receiver we have to take care that no modification should be done on the data during the transmission and non repudiation that is in order to prevent from the denial of service attacks 
so hope you understood these services and uh, what is meant by the mechanism so let us stop here in the next sessions we will go go uh, we will move on to the different algorithms the simple algorithms of network security so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, information security or network security feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify your doubt and if you like my videos like my videos and share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more technical videos on network security thank you very much